Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Learn Coding. In this episode, we'll be doing an improvisation using audio notes. So I haven't touched audio notes for a while, but audio notes is actually kind of actually really powerful because you can create audio inside Blender, right? And you just need a bunch of notes. And I think we can have the trigger, trigger envelope. And there is one more that I keep forgetting. Is this one clock okay clock trigger and flow and sync so what's gonna happen here if we plug this in there it's gonna create a trigger and it's gonna trigger uh, some kind of sound you can see there's a, like a like a click and we can start and stop the click it's kind of like a making sound so I will have to have um, some kind of oscillator so this is what we need um, I believe we can just plug this in there and in this one in there and create a frequency and now you can hear sound so this is the BPM uh, bit per minute. I can change the rate. Maybe give it at 60 for now. So this might not sound very impressive. However, we just generate like some kind of a, a beat that keep running. And the thing with the uh, audio notes of course it's a sound wave we generating sound and also it creates a wave and in theory if we can output this into something like maybe animation notes or stretch of notes we can kind of use that to to animate because this is actually real time so currently audio notes doesn't really provide a way to output it um, directly so we can't control the animations yet because we cannot see the value that's being outputted. Um, however, we know that we have a video sequencer and we have this recorder. Uh, this is push to talk add-on. I used this at some point on my video. So it's a way to quickly record based on your microphone. So let me save this very quickly. This is uh, audio notes. What is this? Uh, Clock. So clock is like a clicker that keeps running, creating impulse to generate sound. And you can actually mix and match the oscillator and also the amplitude and frequency to to make really really interesting sound. I'll show you in the you know in a bit. So if I run this and uh, I'll record it. And 50 seconds I'm gonna stop this one so if I go back to this is a blender video uh, sequencer editor VSE if I select this and display waveform this is what I recorded just now with actually with my sound as well so in a way yeah but we have this audio wave of course with the, with the noise etc but in theory we can actually record a uh, push to talk we can record this instead of using built-in microphone we can use a black hole or sunflower to have a, like a clean sound and after we recorded that so this is a this is something to remember after we, we do that we can go to animation notes and then simply use the sound, I think. Sound input. I haven't used this for a while. Uh, sound, okay, sound trigger, sounds from sequence. 
Okay. And we need to evaluate the sound. This is actually all right. So we need to be able to plug this into somewhere. Sound follow sound intensity of the sound intensity. So this either one of these will work. Spectrum output and okay we need frame time frame and spectrum output should give us some kind of value. Mm -hmm. so, in a way, okay. So all right, we have everything connected and. Let's try to hook this up into Susan. And let's see delay time. So object transform output. Grab Suzanne. Scale Suzanne. There you go. <laughs> Took a while, but you can see how the intensity of the sound that we created here animates Suzanne. So in a way, the result is actually quite nice. Right? Um, yeah, so that's really the basic idea. And if I actually imported, uh, I have an, another example that used the same thing. It's, uh, it's much more complicated. So this is one example. Okay, this one is quite wild. Um, this one is basically using similar setup. However, we have delay time and we have this. We have multiple oscillator. And originally, this is actually an example example from audio notes add-on developer. You can see here, oscillator, oscillator. This is the output. This is the clock. This is how to, you can generate kind of like a bell sound. You can change this to different oscillator. It makes a, like a bell sound for, you know, like meditational Zen experience. I thought you, you can actually oscillate this as well and multiply it. But anyway, this sound, this sound can be recorded using video sequence editor and like I, I showed you earlier, this is a push and push to talk add-on. It will record the microphone sound. And then you can do something with it after the fact. Right? You can animate this. Yeah, this one is this is not a clean sound, but a on a Mac, I think it tries to reduce the noise sound anyway, so you get a, something that's pretty clean. So that's the basic idea. The clock, clock notes in audio notes, very, very, very powerful. You can trigger. So this is something that you also can hook up into like a MIDI and then create a trigger. So I was a bit lost just now. So give it a try yourself. So you need a couple of things, audio notes, push to talk add-on, 
and then if you want to cook it up to uh, animation notes it's pretty easy once you have the wave and record it ideally we should ha have audio notes that's kind of receiving input and output uh, in real time so like like I said audio notes is special because it's real time and you if you hook it up into animation you have animations and then if you bake it all you have audio and animations and you have something that's a little bit more immersive um, so yeah that's the idea all right Hopefully you find this interesting, let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.